Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can purchase an NFT that has been minted from in-game or from our marketplace. So we have an empty scene here, and what we're going to need to do is go into the minter. We're going to go into web wallet, and then you're going to see uh, buy item uh, prefab. So I'm going to just drag that in, and you can kind of see here that we have like a very simple UI uh, created for you. And now I'm going to go and select the purchase NFT and I'm just going to select the script and then open it up. Now you can see here that we have the chain, uh, the network that we're working with, the chain ID, because we're working with web wallet. I've created some text properties just so this for just for displaying um, information on awake, we nullify all of the text properties. And on start, we call this class method EVM create NFT market, which just takes in a chain and a network. And this will pull all of the currently listed NFTs for sale um, for that chain. Um, right now, I'm just taking the zero index of that. So whatever the first one is um, for that's been listed for sale, I'm grabbing that information and displaying it on screen. We do some checks to see if it's IPFS, and if it is, we just do a simple replace there. Uh, handle of rep request for the URI of the NFT. Then we um, also go in and start you know, grabbing the data to fill in the additional properties. Um, we get the actual uh, JSON object with the image, and then we do another test to see if it's HTTP, um, if it's HTTPS or IPFS, and if it is just IPFS, we do another change and replace. Um, start coroutine either for, for each of those edge cases. Um, later on, we have the properties. So if the, um, the NFT creator has added additional properties to the NFT, we handle that. And then we just go through and just get the information for that particular NFT and display it on screen. Um, we have another, you know, it's like these convenience methods for handling the downloading of the image and then the creation of the sprite object. But the purchase NFT is really where all this is happening. So we call the uh, purchase NFT um, function and then we have um, the EVM create purchase NFT transaction class method, which takes the chain network, uh, the account of the purchaser the item ID, the item price, and the token type. And then we just have some debug information, some sanity checks here. And then we actually try with a Web3 wallet send transaction, passing in the chain ID and the response transaction to value data, gas limit and gas price for that specific NFT. And that's really all there is to this. So I'm going to uh, minimize this. And just like in the other examples, I'm going to go to the scenes. I'm going to select the web wallet. I will save this and then I will just click on play. Okay. So now that that's running, I'm just going to uh, remove the remember me check and then just click on login. I will sign, I will copy the signature to clipboard and then this will navigate me to the next scene. And you can see here that we have the image and all of the other data that's associated with it. Now I'm gonna click on purchase NFT. Okay, great. You can see that this one is 0 uh, 0.01 uh, Gorley uh, ETH and I'll click on confirm. And then I will copy the transaction hash and then I'll go to the uh, Gorley um, testnet explorer. I'll paste in the transaction hash and then do a search for it. And I just got confirmation from that. So we should see this uh, pop up with a success very shortly. And there you have it. We have just purchased an NFT in game for, that was minted on the Chainsafe Gaming Marketplace. And um, yeah, that's it. Bye for now.